Bismillah wa salat wa salam ala rasulullah Hello everyone Today we are going to talk about part 2 of unit 4, lesson 4 which is question making in past simple tense كيفيه صنع السؤال في زمن الماضي البسيط We will start first reviewing the objectives of this lesson سنبدأ باستعراض أهداف هذا الدرس Number 1 how to write grammatically correct questions in the past simple tense كيف نصوغ أسئلة صحيحة نحويا في زمن الماضي البسيط and how to use proper WH words when making questions كيف نستخدم أدوات الاستفهام الصحيحة عند صنع السؤال as you can see here we have uh, what, where, why, how and who all of these are called WH words and we use what to ask about things نسأل عن الأشياء باستخدام what نسأل عن المكان باستخدام where نسأل عن السبب باستخدام why ونسأل عن الكيفية أو الطريقة باستخدام how ونسأل عن الشخص أو الفاعل خاصة إذا كان عاقلا باستخدام هو. Now we have uh, the rule القاعدة that we use or we adopt التي نتبناها عند صنع سؤال. We have WH word is all the time at the beginning of information questions followed by the auxiliary verb plus subject and verb 1 in its based form and the complement if we have other elements and uh, at the end we have the question mark now let's have a look at one example what did you buy from the supermarket we notice here that we have the WH word is what the auxiliary verb is did the subject is you the verb is by and this is complement تتمت الجملة أو السؤال and at the end we have question mark now we have a very important uh, remark to make here لدينا ملاحظة هامة جدا وهي أن the auxiliary verb in past simple tense is always did دائما يكون الفعل المساعد المستخدم في صنع السؤال أو حتى في النفي في الماضي البسيط هو did والدليل we have did in this question and in the last lesson we used did to make sentences negative now we are going to make questions to ask about uh, the underlined words number one let's see the answer ننظر إلى الإجابة أولا he bought bread and cheese from the market yesterday so we want to make a question asking about bread and cheese نريد أن نصنع سؤالا نسأل فيه عن bread and cheese now what do you think bread and cheese are في هذه الجملة هي عبارة عن شيء right and we said in the first slide that we use what to ask about things so what and then we use auxiliary what did he this is the subject buy notice with me verb 1 what did he buy from the market yesterday and do not forget the question mark now let's go to another one they went to London last year notice that we want a question asking about to London and London is a place اسم لندن هي عاصمة أو مكان وبالتالي we need to use where where again the auxiliary where did they go this is verb 1 of went last year 
okay more examples the semester start did when here we want to put these words in the right order نريد ترتيب هذه الكلمات بالشكل الصحيح لصنع سؤال we start with the wh word نبدأ بأداة الاستفهام when and then the auxiliary when did the semester is the subject when did the semester start again another one we start with the wh word why and then the auxiliary verb and then the subject when did the boys and then the verb come back late okay I hope you've derived benefit from this lesson thank you very much for your attention and see you in part 3